also, uh, this is in reference, uh, or rather the citation for the uh, case reference is Gabbery versus Ireland Road Grace Brethren, Inc. I acquired uh, the information on this case and the opinion in uh, pursuit of uh, references to antitrust cases that I claim uh, support one of my uh, efforts uh, in regards to considerations of charges I've already filed. But I understand there may be something else going on tonight that may involve a summary judgment, i.e. Rule 56. And I'm concerned, to be honest with you, because now I believe that a prior uh, allegation may have actually been uh, proven to have come to bear. Uh, and so far as 56 is also the name of a particular kind of securities license regarding proprietary trading model. Um, and I did identify it as being uh, in consideration in regards to errors I was experiencing or problems I was experiencing trying to file a case through the district court here in Dallas in early 2020. Um, and specifically that my understanding was somebody else had claimed me as an asset and in the course of what they would otherwise identify as their proprietary trading ma uh, model or their proprietary uh, financial uh, systematology had determined it was okay to do things with me um, without prior disclosure and somehow seek a justification of it being proprietary to substantiate their cause and hence um, my good faith efforts to try to protect myself uh, by requesting formal assistance uh, with applying for a securities broker's license had been intentionally not only obstructed but was being used in an attempt to try to frame me in efforts to cover up for other people's crimes, right? Um, so now there's another reference point to 56, which I did not have, which is 56%. That seems that a specific company um, that I believe is actually a, a significant concern in this regard, but will not name at this moment, um, hedged on or rather um, provided as a part of a third quarter report in 2019 regarding um, common shareholders, uh, which is important because that would be 19 days after an October 4th of 2019 publication in The Guardian Unlimited regarding information associated with uh, equity companies or rather uh, private uh, investment management companies that I contended was part of some form of scheme that was being set up uh, specific to the European pension system, but that was meant to engage with the American pension system and was to unroll within the next year, perhaps several years, including in accordance with one person uh, specifically identifying a 10 year timeline, uh, particularly regarding um, boards of directors of organizations or companies that could anticipate um, having some sort of massive uh, disruption in terms of policy priorities, specifically around green energy or around uh, climate change and it needs to make climate change. And what I understood from reading that was that certain companies and individuals had been specifically requested to provide a feature in terms of interviews for that publication with either an explicit or an implicit understanding that the publication was using their interviews and was using features on their companies in uh, accordance with the creation of an index connected to, I believe, the top 20 investment management companies, and that there were metrics that were specifically being identified at that time um, with uh, those contexts um, that were going to be used as part of a public pension scheme hedging strategy, almost as if it was as if public pensioners were saying through whatever their collective bargaining unit was that was interfacing with and through the Guardian Unlimited. Um, we are going to, we're throwing our hat into the ring. We're entering the game. And it was as if uh, there was a quote by a specific person from the company of concern. And I remember he said something that he's, he would not dispute their presentation of the company as if to say, okay, that's the way you're characterizing this. I'll accept that that's your characterization of my of me and my company and what we're doing i'm not going to dispute what you put out there as fact and so this is important because it was as if that was the way you've characterized me those are the terms you've set i'll accept i did not know at the time that there was a as was reflected 19 days later in the quarterly earnings statement that 56 was a specific uh, percentage that had been uh, consistent for several quarters related to um uh 
the Common Shareholder Association. Now, I've not reviewed it very, very specifically, uh, but this is important because I, at that time, when I read that uh, specific article, was thinking of it from a perspective of, well, I've been tracking pension fraud, specifically how certain people and certain moments have been contrived. And I believe I found what was a form of a sort of codex, uh, which was a matter uh, in which I believe that there had been some form of automation regarding people's resource access that was part of a kickback scheme, specifically here in Texas, uh, related to alleged public information, including public information that would be made available to people seeking resources or seeking to engage with public services, um, including ones that would be con uh, constitutionally protected through uh, immunity, um, or would also in some ways be connected to public pension systems up to and including public pension systems that would receive public financing in the form of municipal or general obligation bonds and or uh, would themselves be connected to some sort of state coverage uh, in terms of the retirement system and the manner in which the Texas retirement system operates. And so when I saw this, my concern was that, okay, is this some sort of uh, situation that's going on that's being declared uh, to a European audience and what would be the impact it would have on the United States? And I made notes to myself. I put it in my uh, email because no, I have no reason to think that anybody would have gotten the information. It was just for me. And I was like, okay, going through this strategy, going through what they're setting up, and if I understand it as a form of benchmark and using metrics as a benchmark, um, and specifically percentages, I said, I call 1.9. I call 1.9%. I was like, nobody else called it. Nobody else claimed it. Nobody else is associated with it. I'm calling 1.9%. This was in October of 2019. And the reason why is because in the way I was eva evaluating stuff, there was a specific way of calculating things. And I said, well, 1.9% as a as a hedging strategy for a specific period of time that seems to correlate with what these other people are doing um, could potentially have a uh, impact on if I were to follow it and engage it. Now I'm going to say I did not even look at it again for six months. As soon as I did, I said to myself, "Don't don't touch it for six months. See what they do with this." And by that time, well, what was six months after October fourth of two thousand nineteen? Right. That's uh, the introduction.